Today we're going to look at another very interesting topic in statistics. It's about the sampling, how to collect a few data from a very large amount of data and uh, the data you collected as a small sample that would be representative of your uh, big uh, a big amount of or the large chunk of data this is a kind of a, like a skill uh, you have to master when you want to know and explore a large amount of data that could be very useful there is a package in R called survey it can help you to uh, explore uh, the sampling techniques. Here as a example, this is a listed in University of Minnesota. Uh, here uh, it simulates a two uh, group of uh, data. Uh, this in different colors, group A and B. Then kind of a, you can randomly sample from this, uh, all these data together. Um, another way you look at it is, you know, uh, there is a distinct uh, kind of a two groups of data. Um, you can purposely uh, sample some of the data from uh, the group A and then some of the data from uh, group B, and is then combine them together trying to assess whether this is uh, uh, representative of uh, all, all these data, uh, which consists uh, around 1,000 points, as I remember. Let's uh, take a look at the, uh, the code uh, to uh, uh, that produce the, uh, the data as well as the, the sampling techniques. Let's run. Uh, this code, uh, before we run this, uh, this code consists of a few sections. Um, uh, it's kind of a, to how, like a, to generate the data and then do the simple random sampling and also uh, we are going to conduct a stratified sampling and then we can also take a look at the, the, the true uh, values uh, in a population as a comparison to see whether our sampling method is valid or not or how close they are to the true value. Let's run the code uh, very briefly and uh, we set the seed and we produce uh, 1,000 uh, points. Um, 500 is a kind of a random uh, numbers with mean around zero, the other uh, with mean around five. Uh, we also produce uh, another number, uh, X, just a combination of the a y with another one thousand uh, random numbers. Then uh, we group them together and just uh, uh, as a, a kind of A and a B, each has uh, 500 points. And then we uh, construct a data frame and uh, produce the population for this uh, simulation. We load the uh, GG uh, plot to library and uh, trying to plot this. And as we uh, have seen in the uh, in the slides, uh, there are uh, two groups of data. Um, well. Let's look at first at the simple uh, random sampling. Um, 
we will run this data and we will uh, collect 100 points from uh, these um, 1,000 uh, point as the population. So our sample size is 100. Then, uh, kind of as an index, um, we generated it from the last step, then we can uh, have the uh, sample uh, with all the, uh, the data. Uh, let's load the um, survey library and uh, and define the finite population correct uh, correction factors. Uh, this will uh, kind of give you a uh, calibration of, uh, correction on the uh, sample size compared to the population size. Then we use the survey design function to uh, simulate the uh, si simple random sampling. Uh, so we don't have uh, any um, uh, uh, strata. And so we define it as a null. We don't have any clusters, so we define it as uh, a constant, as one. So that's the uh, subset of the um, a population uh, we just uh, uh, collected from the uh, simple uh, random sampling. So that's the uh, finite population uh, correction factor. Let's run this line. And so there's another um, a function or functions. Uh, it can give you uh, the estimate of the total, the mean, the confidence level. We will run through this. And the total of the y uh, with the standard error, we see at the bottom here. And we also will see what's the mean of the y, uh, kind of the, the, this, uh, out of these 100 points as a sample. So we can roughly guess it is a 2.5 somewhere. And you can see uh, purposely we have the uh, zero and, the, and the, the other group is a kind of a five somewhere. So in between and along this, uh, somewhere you can see around two uh, to three, uh, somewhere that's the Y uh, value. So we can also uh, get the confidence interval. So you see that's from almost like uh, you 2,000 divided by 1,000 points. So you can roughly estimate it's like a 2.1 to 3.0. So that's the, oh, well, that's a fairly large uh, confidence interval. So we can also use the ratio estimator uh, since we see this line, if it is a, like a linearly related, it is a, in the past, uh, the, the zero and the zero point. So that might be a potentially good indication. You can use the uh, ratio estimator to reduce the uncertainties and a, uh, give a good um, and a narrow confidence interval for your uh, estimates. So uh, we will uh, run this and to get the, the true uh, value uh, for X as a auxiliary estimator. So that's a ratio uh, design. Let's say the numerator is, is the Y, uh, the denominator is the X. So that's a still the design object we produce from the previous step. So we uh, we can kind of uh, roughly look at the uh, the results and go and predict what's the uh, value. Since we have a random seat uh, from the beginning, we may get the uh, reproducible results here. So that's a for uh, simple uh, random uh, sampling. Let's look at the stratified uh, sampling.
So we intentionally going to sample uh, to collect randomly collect the 50 points from group A and 50 points randomly uh, from uh, group B. So that's that's the design. Uh, you can see it will select 50, 50 points from out of, out of 500 and then 50 points from the other 500. That's a kind of a different group differentiated here. Then we produce the uh, stratified uh, sample and also define the um, finite population correction factor. So uh, pay attention to this. Uh, so for each um, a group, uh, it has a 500 points. Um, so that's the design uh, for stratified at some point. You produce the uh, uh, project, uh, the, the object for the stratified sampling and you will gather the total uh, total uh, divided by one thousand the 2.6 is here so maybe the the value we expected around 2.5 or somewhere is not too far away and uh, then we will run and these um, the population and the population and the bad values and it is a 2.53 uh, for this data set. So uh, we can see um, maybe the uh, somehow the uh, random sampling 2.3, 2.53, maybe the random sample, simple random sampling is more, uh, it's, a, it's a closer to the true uh, mean value of a y. So, um, well, uh, this is um, give you an introduction of uh, how uh, you're going to use the uh, survey package. And there's a, a lot of uh, concepts uh, we have to learn uh, before you can uh, fully uh, use this uh, tool uh, uh, for your research or project and uh, for, uh, for the uh, future improvement in um, sample and method. Thank you for watching uh, my video. If you uh, like my video, please subscribe and um, hope, uh, hopefully see you next time.